Shalom, Shalom. This is the young brother Yeshaya. And I would like to start this video out by giving all honor, glory, and praise unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Wacha Rakakwadash. Double honors unto the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, the men I learned this truth from. Now, this lesson was inspired by the, the term growing pains. And I found this little brief definition to further explain the point. It says, what does the saying growing pains mean? And it reads, if a person or organization has growing pains, they experience temporary difficulties. That's the key word, temporary. So they experience temporary difficulties and problems at the beginning of a particular stage of development. And as a man of the Lord, you're in your beginning stage. You know, despite the elders uh, being 30 years plus in this thing, they're still suffering because this is only the beginning stages. You know, we're not in those new bodies yet. You know, the Lord was, is going to bless us as we continue to grow and grow, you know, until until he has returned. Until the son of the living power, Yahweh returns. So it says, there's some sympathy for this new. Oh, so, you know, I don't want to have to read all that. But the highlights right there, they experience temporary difficulties and problems at the beginning of a particular stage of development. You know, so right now we're, we're facing uh, temporary difficulties, you know, as a body, as the body of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Because we got to understand, Yahweh Shai still hasn't received his kingdom. You know, it's promised unto him, but he's ready to establish it here on earth. Just as we're ready for him to come here and, you know, rescue us, Adawan Ratazah. You know, Lord willing. You know, for the new listener, Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. His name meaning or translating in today's time as he exists. That's what Yahweh means in the holy tongue, Yahweh. And his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, his name means he is the deliverer. He is the savior. Yahweh Shai, Yah, meaning he, Yahweh Shai, meaning savior or deliverer. You know, it's a very beautiful thing to receive these names. So what you got to do is continue to go through the grow through the pain. You can't just experience a little bit of troubling times and uh, or come across a difficult time and turn away. You know, there's no looking back. You know, the, the sincere Aki and Akwas are going to persevere. They're going to grow and continue to become sharper in the eyes of the Lord. The Lord is going to increase them in the end. So let's go ahead and get it to the first precept. This is going to be Psalms chapter 41 and verse 3 now it reads yahweh will strengthen him upon the bed of languishing that will make all his bed in his sickness so let's go into the word languishing languishing it goes into the hebrew word h 1741 the waya the waya the waya which means sickness figuratively loathing Sorrowful. sorrowful. Let's go into the word loathing, the definition. The definition of loathing. The first thing that pops up is disgust. Loathing, hatred, a feeling of intense dislike or disgust. Hatred. So the Lord's going to uh the Lord Yahweh will strengthen him upon the bed of hatred. Upon the bed of disgust. Sorrowful. Let's go into that word right there. Sad. Tragic. So we're in a sad, tragic time right now. Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. Which shows you who, who's in rulership. You know, who paints himself as God? Who paints himself as the man to honor when his kingdom is pure wickedness. You know, that, that, I'm not going to get too deep into that. You know, figure it out for yourself if, you st if you're still questioning. Now it says tragic, feeling or showing grief. Feeling or showing grief. So Yahweh will strengthen him upon the bed of grief. You know, tragedy. The Lord sharpening us and, and making us uh, go through that fire. You know, which was speaking, uh, spoken of in Malachi. Now it says, Thou will make all his bed in his sickness. 
sickness, anxiety, calamity, disease, grief. You know, there goes grief again. You know? So the Lord will take care of you. He's going to nurse you back to, to, to full health. The Lord's keeping us in that low, low estate so that he could raise us up in the end under Yahawashai. Just as he's keeping Esau in that high estate. He's keeping the wicked in this high mind to where he's going to just bring them down. You know, it's basically Egypt all over again. We're in that house of bondage. We're in spiritual Egypt. This is going to be Romans chapter 8 and verse 18. It reads, For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared. They're not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Who is this us? The Apostle Paul was an Israelite. You know, in the very next chapter, he goes into how the Israelites are the chosen people. You know, the, the, the Israelites, man, that's who the Most High deals with. That's who Yahawashai was sent for. You know, concerning the flesh, Yahawashai HaMashiach came. So that, that, that's a beautiful thing, man. He was never sent for the entire world. The world, uh, uh, John 3 and 16 speaks on is the world of Israel. You know, to prove that, let's jump into the book of Isaiah. You know, I didn't want to make this lesson long, but hey, I'm just going to go through the spirit. Now, this is Isaiah chapter 45, verse 17, and it reads, but Israel, who, who is the world that John three sixteen is speaking of? Now it reads, but Israel shall be saved. And the Lord, Yahweh, with an everlasting salvation. Everlasting. Those people in Israel aren't in their everlasting uh, salvation. They're, they don't need to be saved. They're already living it up. Yahweh Shai hadn't even returned. The Son of God. It says, uh, generally a time out of mind, long duration, forever, ever, everlasting, ever more perpetual. You know, forever. Those, those people aren't going to be there forever. That's why wars are still going on. They're not the Israelites, man. That's why they don't even call themselves that. They call themselves themselves Israelis. So they know who they are. That's Am that those are the Amalekites, according to the Bible. So, but Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. So that hasn't happened yet. This is a future prophecy. It says, Ye shall not be ashamed nor confound confounded world without end. We're not going to be ashamed nor confounded. Let's go into that word co confounded. It says, humiliate, blush, be ashamed. Put to shame. We're put to shame here on earth. On this on this world. You know, because this world is going to be refreshed by Yahweh Shai. So when we speak of a new world, we're not talking about a new planet. You know, we, we can't tell you this and de that. You know, the Lord is slowly revealing all the, the, the secrets unto us. But we know for a fact this earth is going to be refreshed. And America is not going to be dwelt in. You know, which is known as Babylon. You know, this is uh, the daughter of Babylon. So it says, humiliate the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American, especially for believing in Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, are being humiliated. They're, tr they're trying to put us to shame. But we're out there boldly. The righteous are as bold as a lion. You know? And Yahweh Shai is a very important key to this. You know, we're not saved by following the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability. We're saved by following in Yahweh through faith. By doing what? Honoring the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability. Forsaking our own families. You know, abandoning them so we can go make a lesson. Abandoning them so we can go out and teach at camp. Abandoning them so we can go and read. Abandoning them on their Christmas parties and birthdays. That's just not going to save you. That's that's the congregation of the dead. You know, all these things this world has to offer. The churches, the Christmases, the Thanksgivings. All these little things that this world has to offer, man. We, we do our best to stay away from all of it. You know? So let's read that once again. Isaiah 45 and 17. But Israel shall be saved. So Israel. It didn't say the entire world shall be saved. It didn't say all nations. It didn't say all 18 nations. 
It said, but Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. So that's who's going to be saved through Yahweh Shai. Because this, this is the Old Testament. The Old Testament was speaking of, you know, future prophecies, just as the New Testament is as well. It says, but Israel shall be saved in Yahweh with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end. So without an end, man. So just hold on there. Akim wa Akwath. This is Revelation 21 and 4. And the Most High shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. You know, our people. You know, the Lord is dealing with the elect. The elect are going to be relieved. Because all the wicked, dumbass Israelites that are here on earth are going to be destroyed. All the heathen placed into their captivity are put to death rightfully. You know, all the bullshit they put us through. You know, even more our past lives. You know, we, we, we most likely have lost our children. You know, as a people, we have. We've lost our children. <coughs> We've lost lots due to these people. You know, so rightfully, they're going to lose lots due to us coming back into our rulership. They did their best trying to cover up the faces of the judges, man. They didn't want us to know that we're the sons of the living power. You know, but the Lord revealed that unto us. And now here we are in the last days, crying out unto the Lord. So it says, the, and the Most High shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. These are speaking, this is speaking on the Israelites. And there shall be no more death, only Israel. Israel is not going to receive death anymore. That's a, that's a blessing. That's spiritual power to live forever. <coughs> Well, Esau Edom's over there busy trying to drink child, children's blood, sacrificing babies unto Molech. You know, being the, 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 the sons of the wicked, they are. <coughs> well, they're trying to do that to, re, 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 um, you know, get rid of a few face wrinkles to, to look younger. You know, they're not really doing it. They're just trying to do what the Lord promised unto his people. You know, they, they're not it. You know, so they can keep... You know, being wicked like they are. Because at the end of the day, the Lord is going to judge them through his men. So, it reads, And there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying. Neither shall there be any more pain. We're not going to have to be going through those temporary growing pains. You know, we just read it. There will be, there shall, and neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. Let's go into that word former. It reads, this is Protos in G4413, beginning, <laughs> beginning, let's go back to that definition of growing pains, let's read that again, it says right there, they experience temporary difficulties and problems at the beginning of a particular stage of development, we're in that particular stage of development as I speak. You know, because one day these videos are just going to be uh, uh, epistles, video epistles. Just as we're reading the scriptures and those are just, those are epistles, letters that the, the prophets had wrote. You know, for our learning. So let's go back to that. G44 and 13, Protos. It says before beginning. So for, former, it's from the beginning. So... Neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things, the beginning things, are passed away. You know, we haven't reached that destiny of being under the, in the kingdom, being in authority as the men of the Lord. You know, I don't want to Zion, one of that, one of the, the 144. You know, because 144,000 men out of Israel, 12,000 out of each of the tribes, the 12 tribes, they're going to be uh, rulers under Yahweh Shai's authority. Under Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai's authority. Now, this is the last scripture I do want to grab. This is Matthew chapter 10 and verse 22. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. So this is what's happening as we speak. We're becoming hated for the name of the Lord. The right name of the Lord. Not no name given unto us by a devil. You see, the, the world is quickly to accept that false name. You go to a fucking bar and you, you drop that false name and they're going to they're gonna be quick to act like they, they're with you 
as they, they, they continue to do the wicked deeds. They give credit to unto that unto that false deity, man, that they've created. You know that the the the, the serpent has given unto us. You know there's there's that forbidden fruit. So let's see, and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but he that endureth till the end shall be saved. So you're only going to be saved if you endure unto the end. That's the last word I want to get into. Endureth. And there is the G5278. This is hypomeno, hypomeno. It says to stay under, figuratively, to undergo, bear, have fortitude, per persevere, abide, patient, suffer. There you go. Be patient in the suffering. Be patient through the growing pains. You know, because at the end of the day, it's going to pay off. You know, it, it's it's all going to be worth it in the end. So, I don't want to out this lesson. Was that a fine? I would like to close out by giving all honor, glory, and praise unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Wachara Kakwadash. Double honors unto the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, the men I learned this truth from. Shalom to the brothers out there laboring day in and day out, and to the few sisters that hearken unto this word. Shalom.